Welcome back guys to Steve vs. Wild, where I take you guys out into the great unknown and we explore stuff, document it, and get it published in research papers. So I want to get the channel back to the basics, back to what the essence of Steve the Vlogger is. And in order to do that, we're going to need some of these jars. Now these jars can't just be any jars, they have to be airtight. So you need a locking mechanism on them, or you need to have this sort of material on the inside of the lid. Now it's gonna be super important because what we're doing today is filling these jars with some sexy bugs, guys. Now I know what your next question is. Steve, where are we gonna find these bugs? Well, we're gonna find them from two different parts of the same woodland stream. One with a high flow and one with a low flow. Here's why. We're gonna see which one has more sexy bugs in it and which ones will have more sex. Anyway, now that that's been resolved, there's two concepts we need to understand before we start searching for these bugs. Turbidity! Turbidity can best be described as the amount of shit floating in the water. But it's hard to see through your radar's high turbidity. Flow! Flow basically means how fast stream move. And then... All right, Steve. I'm ready for the video. Got my bug net. I'm ready to go, ready to catch some bugs. Abatu, your man, yes sir, yes man, that's me. No, no, you can't be in this video. Get out of here. What do you mean? You know I've been unemployed the entire COVID pandemic. It's not my responsibility to keep you employed just because your fucking escapades failed during the pandemic, dude. You know, I'm pretty sure you started it, Steve. How do you figure that exactly? I know... I know you ate that bat. Oh my god, this again. I didn't eat that bat, I just chewed on it a little bit. That's true, Steve. Why did I find this, huh? Why did I find this, Steve? Can you please be in the video? No. Fuck you, Steve. What's up, Steve Nation? So we have these two jars, and like I said before, one of them we're gonna take from a low flow part of the river, and the other one we take from a high flow part of the river. So, let's get to it and see what sexy bugs are in which place. Steve the vlogger's gloving up for the excellent adventure to find out which bugs are the sexiest. So what we wanna try to grab is plants, uh, the top layer of the soil, which is where all the sexy bugs, the sexiest ones live at the top. And we want to get some of the water from the stream itself. You see here, a wild dipshit is risking his life for some sexy bugs. All right, Steve, how do we figure out which bugs are the sexiest? Oh, that's an easy one. That's body parts, obviously. Um, so we're gonna rank them depending on how big the bug booty and bug titty is. And we're gonna go from there. All right. All right, guys, so as you may have seen, we had a bit of a drawback there, considering I, being a dumbass, dropped one of the jars. So that means that the experiment is still on. It's just changing. So here's how it's going to change. We have the jar from here before. The experiment's still on, it's just changing a bit. It's too turbid right now to see many of the sexy bugs. As the week progresses and they show up, I will be recording them. And then we will rank them at the end of the week. So what we have here is a stonefly nymph. This is the first sexy bug to appear in our jar. Um, normally I would record it through the jar, however this one is deceased. So I have to pose a question to you guys. Should he count? on our poll for next week because is this technically necrophilia if we find him attractive let me know in the comments all right guys that'll do it for now steve the vlogger out